Forced out of their homes, away from everyone they grew up with. Tonight, some former Joplin students are building new relationships in strange environments. Larry Seward shows us where and how. It's the first day of school, and in hallways crowded with sneakers. Let's go to class, folks. One grandmother's stilettos stand out. Let's go to class. I always look forward to the kids coming back. I've been waiting all summer. Carthage High Principal Candy Frazier knows everyone by name. Tim, did you get your schedule? Even new faces like sophomore Leanne Craig. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Trying to find her first class, she can't help. Looking around, not knowing any of these people, wondering what they're thinking about me. If you were ever a teenager who had to go to a new school, you feel that helpless, hopeless feeling. And it's one of those situations where, you know, every Everybody needs that support, but especially these 12. Normally on the first day, Carthage welcomes about 17 new students, but this year there's an additional 12. 12 like Leanne, forced here by tragedy. The Joplin tornado May 22nd hit our house when we had just got home from my sister's graduation. So we all had to take cover. And Everyone survived, but even the sound of wind now terrifies Leanne. I just start shivering and my eye and my head hurts and it's just scary. It wiped out her home, causing her family to move to Carthage, where a friend offered a vacant rental home for as long as they need. For this softball player, it means playing for the Tigers, her former rivals. Everyone on the team and the coaches and the players have really made me feel welcomed. Administrators want the same district wide for all 47 Joplin students forced into Carthage schools. We will make sure that we check in with them on a regular basis. We have professional counselors in our building who will be monitoring them. But no one follows high schoolers like Frazier. We're like a big family. And she's determined to keep it that way. In Carthage, Missouri, Larry Seward, NBC Action News. The Joplin School Administrators say almost 10% of last year's students are enrolled in new districts because of the tornado's destruction. To view our Joplin rebuilding stories from this week, go to NBCActionNews.com slash Joplin.